today I'm gonna go over how to make Mongolian hot pot. Here I have 10 cups of water and then this is the soup base that you need to pick it up from any um, Korean market. It's called Little Sheep. They have two different kinds. Um, the, uh, the, there's a plain one and this is the, um, the hot one, like the spicy one. So um, if you don't like spicy, then you could use the plain one. The, the plain one, the bag look kind of green. And so this is what I use. Okay, I'm going to open it. Open it. We'll pour it in a pot. I have the bag of oil. So we're just going to pour all into the pot. And then they have this little bean bag you just open it drop it into the pot the only thing that you don't drop into the pot is this one bag it has all the spice in it because if you put it directly into the pot it's okay too but um, later you have to just strain it out so there's a lot of like pepper and um, other herbs in it so we're gonna use a bag. This bag is made out of um, cotton fabric, and we just pour it in the bag. I have a, a peppercorn, so I'm gonna just add like a teaspoon of peppercorn directly into this bag, and then we're gonna tie it up. And then we're gonna drop into the pot. And then we have some, some tofu, cut them into bite size, drop it in the pot too. And then some quail egg, drop it in the pot. The reason why we put the tofu and the quail egg in the pot first, because it soak up the Mongolian soup base, it would taste better. In a plastic bag, any plastic bag or any food wrap, you put like about five cloves of um, garlic, and we're gonna we're gonna peel the skin out by smashing it. This is easier to peel. So after we drop the five cloves of peeled garlic into the pot. We now take it to the stove, turn the heat on high, and bring it to boil. So let's go over with the rest of the stuff that we need for the hot pot. Um, pretty much anything that you like to dip in the pot. And here I have half pound of the tiger shrimp. I got two of the fresh squid. And I have a juicy gray octopus. Uh, beef slices that you could get from Korean store. They they slide them in slices like this. And then here I have um, fillet salmon. And this is the vegetable that that I have. We I have uh, naba cabbage, kale and some baby spinach. I'm just gonna put it away in a plastic bag and then put it in the refrigerator for now. Okay, for the dipping sauce, we need a few of the chili pepper, a few pieces of garlic, two tablespoons of um, sugar, one tablespoon of the peppercorn, Six pieces of fermented bean curd. One tablespoon of garlic hoisin sauce. One tablespoon of the ground soy bean sauce. One tablespoon of the chili pepper saute. 
And then we're going to smash this up. So after it's completely smashed, now we're going to add all this stuff in. And then we're gonna smash everything and stir it up. And then we're gonna use half of the lemon. And then we stir it up. I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna set it aside for about 30 minutes. We're gonna cut this in small pieces, except this, because this is already cut, already pre sliced, so we don't have to do anything with it. About half inch size. The fresh octopus, same thing, about half inch size. You just cut them in slices like this too. The shrimp, we're gonna peel off the skin. I'm gonna cut them like this. Okay. And then we'll take the gut out. And then we're gonna need some udon noodle. The udon noodle tastes pretty good with this kind of hot pot. You could grab the udon noodle from any Korean market. I'm gonna cover it up. And then we want to put it in the refrigerator to keep it fresh. So after half an hour, we strain, we pour into the strainer to take all the chunk out, the um, peppercorn, because you don't want to eat the peppercorn. You don't. You only want the flavor because it tastes really, really, really bad if you eat it. Like it's burn your tongue. You only need the flavor. So that's why we wanna strain it out. And then we're gonna put it in the, the small bowl. We're gonna cut some chili pepper in it we'll cover it up and then we'll set it aside so the pot after it's boiled you're gonna turn the heat to low and cook it for half an hour. So after a good 30 minutes, we take the bag out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some soup out. Just because it's too full, then it's gonna be hard to dip all the stuff in, all the uh, food in. So we're just gonna take some out and then we use it later if we needed it. So this pot, serve six people so we're going to take it to the dinner table okay we're going to drop the udon in
and like I mentioned um, with my previous video for the hot pot, we, um, we need to keep a bag of ice on top of all the meat and the seafood just because it's sitting right next to the to the stove it's going to be it's going to be too hot for it and then it's going to be it's going to be rotten so we keep the ice on top of it to make sure our meat and seafood stay fresh all the time and then so we're going to take a little bit at a time some shrimp octopus Fresh squid, salmon, and beef. Some vegetable. And then for the beef, we make sure we take it out right away. Same thing with the Octopic. So you just take it out. Now we're going to take everything out. Hope you like it. Enjoy!